And this is the way to start off a big episode of NWA Power with some very powerful warriors here. Taya Valkyrie, Max the Impaler, Ella Envy, one half of our NWA World Women's Tag Team Champions. Right. Oh, Taya Valkyrie! Strikes first. But Max is right there. Why waste time? Ella Envy, she went to William Patrick Corgan. She says, I'm a top tier competitor. I could go with anybody. Put me in a match with anyone. And well, this is the match she got. We're gonna find out, aren't we? Oh, double oh. shoulder tackle, and look at this. A partnership with Taya and Max. Triple threat matchup, one fall to the finish. And Taya Valkyrie is just Kicks stomping. Kicks in the corner on Ella Envy. Hey, they're Shot. getting after it. <laughs> they're not wasting any time, I love it. Taya Valkyrie, one of the most decorated women in the sport of professional wrestling. Here throw. What's wrong? Let's go. Envy, wow. Taking a beating. Absolutely. That Max looks like. Oh. An absolute beast. Could Max. Fight a buzzsaw and give it the first six rounds. Taya Valkyrie. And guys, I have to just remind you, I mean, it's not a handicap match, which it seems yeah, it to really be. Yeah, it really does. This is an they actual. They are just completely taken out. I don't know, maybe they're jealous, Ella Envy, having a championship here in the NWA. It seems like it's Something a handicap that... match, but it's actually a three-way match, so I just wanted to remind yeah, you. Yeah, I'm watching. glad you well, did. Well, intensity is unreal. Oh, <laughs> what's the beef with Ella Envy? With that I, I, I don't know. Uh, that's my only guess, is they think, they're jealous. Maybe it's because Ella Envy politicked her way in this. Maybe it's because she, Ella Envy's a champion. Or maybe they just wanted to get rid of Ella Envy oh, so they could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other and not have any distractions. Well, how would you beat Max? How do you do that? Anyone can do it. It's Taya Valkyrie How about taking Max off her feet with a clothesline, but Ella Envy is right there. Derek, you are the champion! Ella Envy screaming, I am a champion. We got some personal issues. Some respect. Snap suplex by Taya Valkyrie. As Max can oh, oh, clothesline. They have a nasty clothesline. That for was sure. big time. That was big league. Max the Impaler. Oh, wow. Coming in like a freight train on Taya. Just brutal. Absolutely oh, and brutal. Staying, working on oh, her in right the corner. Right to left. Right to left. You got to listen to me. Let's go. Oh, you talk about intensity. Max. Oh, oh, big oh, oh, suplex oh, man. On oh, Taya. Covered by Max now. Shoulders are down. Oh, oh, Envy breaking things up. Oh, that just pissed off Max. Oh, yes, Even it more. did. Even more. The way, ooh, that look. This warrior from the wasteland is just sending Ella Envy out onto the concrete floor. It's like the business here is between Taya and, and Max, and they just kind of want to get rid of Ella so they can focus on wrestling each other. We got one on one right now. Taya Valkyrie. Uh oh. Do you hear Max? Taya screaming. Taya taking it to Max. Breaking the clothesline from Valkyrie. Buster! This is the Buster! The power! By Taya. That's amazing. Let's go. Really is. That's amazing. That took a lot of power. It took a lot of strength. And now Valkyrie, I think she's frustrated at this point. Palm Beyond strikes to the back of the head of Max. <laughs> Pulling the arms. Oh, we've oh, seen this from Valkyrie. Seen... Oh. Maybe that'll be enough. Well, she's got a mean streak. Ella yeah. Envy, getting back at this match. Knees to the face. I'm the champion for a reason. Well, she's confident. She's confident she's a champion. I don't know how confident she's going to be now. Oh my gosh, that scream. <laughs> Max and Ella Envy are very familiar with each other. I think I get away multiple times. I think I get away from She's on a run. This, this, this is starting to turn into like a, like a, like a horror film. It's a horror film. It's a horror film. Oh, just being pulled away. Look out. The screaming out of Ella Envy right now. Well, what would you do? Max biting at the pom poms in the hair. You better get no, out of no, there. No, no, no. Not on the concrete. Not on the concrete. Oh, my God. 
My God! Oh, 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 steps. Max takes the steel post to the face. That's how it's Max done. went face first into that steel. On behalf of Ella what and What a move. Cheer for me! Come on! Uh -oh. oh my oh, gosh, no. that's screaming. It's blood curdling. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Ella Envy is being mercilessly beat down by Taya Valkyrie. That screams like Halloween. Oh, draping DDT. And look at that. Max already back into the ring. Everybody face first at the post. Just goes to show the strength and the power of Max. And impervious like to pain. Ever yeah. Yeah. Wow. Impervious to pain. Impervious. impervious. It seems as though. It seems as though. Yes, it does. That's why I said it. Oh, a spear! Whoa. A spear! I think Max is sending a message directly to Camille. And to the world. And, yeah. what, and what a message it is, Joe. I'd be concerned yeah. if I was Camille, wouldn't you? Um, yeah. I would. Yeah, but Camille is Camille, though. They I don't call Camille. her the Brickhouse for, for nothing. I agree with you. She's an incredible Camille. champion. Camille would be... She would never back down no, from no, no. anyone. I didn't, I didn't say that. I said I'd be concerned. No. And Max, oh. there's always, no, she ain't concerned. There's Not always, the Camille I know. There's always somebody gunning for you when you're on top of the mountain. I know because I've been there all my life. And she's been there over a year now. She I understand it. No. Pecking her up. Okay, oh, we see it. Oh, we see it here. Welcome oh. to the wasteland. That's it. Covered that, by Max. That has to be it. That has to be it. She, Taya could she not get it. there fast enough. The winner of this match, Max Ooh. the Impeller. That's a big message. That's a big message to everyone in the sport of professional wrestling. Max the Impaler. Impressive. Here in the NWA. I think Max did that spear very, very intentionally. Max has already made it very, very clear. Sending a message. Very, very clear. I got what you got, and I, what I have is better than what you have. I'm sure Camille, our champ, is watching in the back. I'm sure she saw that right. match. I'm sure she saw Look, And she's concerned. Hey, 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 we got to talk about the, the huge, huge episode we have in store for you folks. La Rebellion going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the OGK the first time in a traditional tag team match these guys have ever done battle before. That's going to be super exciting. And the race to the chase, it leads to right now the fatal four-way that determined the number one contender for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. All that and much more, but it, it looks yeah. like Kyle Davis is... What? what the What's going on over there? The hell. I, um, congratulations on the, the win. You can keep the pocket square. It's yours now. Yeah. Just, um, Camille, obviously, uh, we, we saw the, the face of it. The Sinister Minister. Uh-huh. Okay. Now it's making sense. Now it's making Wait sense. Wait a minute. Is no, no, no. Now it's making sense. Are these two joining forces? Is, is Father James Mitchell, Mitchell here to recruit uh, Max? I, 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 think, I think so. It appears so. Introducing first, the team of Mike Bennett, 
Matt Taven. They are the OGK. So happy to see the team of the OGK back here in the NWA. Crowd favorites, phenomenal I'm tag team. Welcome back, OGK. I'm loving this. I am loving this. The tag team division is always red hot in the NWA. It's bringing out the best talent as we get closer to NWA 74. And they are quickly becoming one of my favorites, too. And their opponents coming to the ring, accompanied by Damien Seis. This is Mecha Wolf and Bestia Seis, La Rebellion. What an exciting treat to have a living legend of Lucha here in the NWA arena. Damien Seis, the father of Bestia Seis, is here. What a presence La Rebellion has, huh? My gosh. Well, we are a company with legends in the history legends current. Yeah. This guy has this guy was a trendsetter. 100 percent Multiple time trios champion in triple A CML CMLL. Almost. Folks may remember the battles that he had on WCW as well. And I'm really loving this. The first time that these teams have gone together in a traditional tag team match. Had some battles in the team war fashion, but I mean, you got two of the best tag teams in the world, and they're going at it in the best way that we see, in the best ring they could possibly be in the NWA ring. Well, absolutely, Joe. These, these, these four guys are pure athletes. I mean, in, in every sense of the word, uh, you, there's no telling what we're going to see here, and we may see everything. Tag is made. Pointed the elbow into the bicep. Mike Bennett going to the work on the arm of Mega Wolf. Wow. Cover now. High level of intensity from Bennett. He's got that Austin Strong style, and a tag is made to Taven. And the trend getting to work on the arm of Mecha Wolf. And I wonder, I, I'm, I'm wondering if having this Chia 6 6, David 6 6 6 out there is raising the stakes for both teams. Beautiful drop kick by Matt Taven. Yes, that's a good point, Taven. I mean, I, like I said. Oh, look at this. Uh, oh, Damien yes. on the apron, getting in the face of Matt Taven, providing just enough of the, the distraction. Tag is made to Bestia now. Drop toe hold. Almost out of the ring. <laughs> Look at that, the agility into the face of Taven. Covered by Bestia. And based it, Bestia. Oh, tag was made. I don't think, think he saw that. I don't think Bestia saw that. Ooh, stiff forearm by Mike Bennett. Beautiful suplex into the cover. Looks the outside leg. Oh, back. Oh, look at Damien on the apron again. Just looking to get involved here. Providing another big distraction. Bestia trying to fight back, but Bennett's all over him. A tag is made. In comes Taven. Bestia putting on the brakes. Bennett knocks to the outside. Kick to the, kick to the face. Ducks the clothesline, ducks the elbow. Bestia and dives to the outside. Beautiful dive. Taking out Mike Bennett on the concrete floor. Here comes Damon. Oh Here comes Damon. Wow. Mecha Wolf, the lone man in the ring. Mecha Wolf getting ready to fly too. Jump to the air, takes everybody. And this is tag team wrestling. What an exciting matchup so far. These guys are giving it their all. And I think that, yeah, and that's the thing with, with these four competitors. They, they literally lay their bodies out there every single match. They give it everything they've got. What a problem between Mecha Wolf and Mike Bennett. Saw just roll in to yeah. break up the yeah. count. Oh, double, double kick. Back. Wow. All four men down on the outside now. Referee is counting. Yeah, Jared Fritz, he's up to a count of three. Yeah, I think this is the hardest hitting tag match we've seen in the NWA in a long, long time. We're getting closer yeah, and that's saying something. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, every match he's here. six, guys. Oh, he's on six. Yeah, Damien's right there. On seven. Someone's got to get in that ring. Eight. And they're all Someone. Well, Everyone's, everyone's got to get the in ring. There. 
At this point, I don't even remember who the legal man uh, is. I'm not sure they do. Oh, super kick. Oh. Easy with the forearm. Spinning heel kick. And Steph, that's a curry. My goodness. It seems like I just said this, but all four men are down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Again, this time inside the ring. Let's go. Come on. I just heard it from Jared Fritz, Bestia, and Matt Taven. They are the legal men. Come on, Wolf. Come on. Oh, the knee strike. Oh, my God. And Zaguri. Finishes him off with a clothesline. Let's go. Jared Fritz, he's getting frustrated. Well, he had to clear the ring, and he did it. Mecca Wolf going up top. Big neck breaker for Ash. They got Taven locked up. He hit they call that the nail in the coffin. It could be a victory. Oh, so close. close. In the nick of time. Bennett sidesteps, big forearm. Takes Becca Wolf out to the floor. Oh, he caught him. He oh, caught Beastie out. strength of Mike Bennett. Oh, big Death Valley driver. Let's go. Here comes Taven. Shiny laser. Yeah. Covered by Taven. Yeah, cover. And once again, Taven. Damien, say, say, say! Oh my gosh, that should have been a three count! That could have been it. That could have been the end of that. Super kick! Oh my god, they struck out! Double super kick! Legend, welcome to the NWA. Mecca Wolf doing everything he can, fighting back. Jared Prince, he's doing everything he can to try to get some order here, but these, these athletes are just throwing bombs! Jared Prince, just got pushed! There it is. Mike Bennett just got pushed! Oh, the bell's ringing! This is just complete oh, yeah. chaos right now. Here. Still breaking Damian, down. There Damian is nothing. Say, 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 he's in the ring. Oh, this match gosh. is over. Oh, this match is over. He's kicked my Bennett. He kicked my Bennett. Oh, they got him. They missed. They missed. They missed. They missed. He got him with the miss. The miss. Come on. Taven, he might be blinded. Who knows what was in that miss? Oh my gosh, look, we're gonna try to get some order here. We gotta take a break, we'll be back. Please welcome Terrence Harrell and Natalia Markova. Ladies, I understand you have some breaking news. Yes, I do have breaking news. Unfortunately, I was not medically cleared. For She's not my, medically cleared. It's just sometimes it's a little hard to understand. For my number one contendership match, because I suffered a concussion in the match against Taya Valkyrie. And I think it's not fair like, okay, doctor said no, but, you know, I can always fight. I'm always ready. I am the best in this company. I'm an actress, a model. She's close, but, I mean, we know she's not the best, okay? Uh, yeah, but you're close. I am the best. I mean, you're not on my level. She's just a fly, but whatever. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I am the best. So, I'm I think that her. I deserve the title, clearly. So, whatever doctor says, okay. All right, I'll wait for a little bit, but unfortunately this time... The doctor said no. The doctor said no, so Natalia Markova is out, and I hope you heal quickly, Natalia. Oh, I will. Don't Thank you. The National Wrestling Alliance and Fight brings you the ultimate streaming service for everything NWA. This is NWA All Access. For just $49.99 a year, you'll get every single NWA pay-per-view, NWA Power days before the rest of the world, NWA USA, and special fight exclusive content. All the pay-per-views, all the action, all the power. For only $49.99 a year, that's a savings of over $100 versus just ordering everything alone. To subscribe, visit fight.tv today. That's F-I-T-E dot TV. Join the thousands of fans that have already subscribed to the toughest brand in professional wrestling. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be.
Joining me at this time are Sion and Austin Idol. Guys, now that you're finally reunited as father and son, how's the working relationship going? Let me go going? on record here. Let's stop the gaga. Let me go on record here right now. First of all, our relationship is better than it's ever been. It's perfect. But what's really most important, if, 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 Sion, if you listen to me and do exactly what I ask you to do, not tell you what to do, ask you what to do, I promise you, you will be the next NWA national heavyweight champion. But you got to listen to me. Listen to me, son. I don't make promises that I can't keep. You have anything to add to that, Sion? For over half my life, I hated you. I hated watching TV, knowing what I knew. When I stepped foot in the NWA, I realized that I needed to become a champion. A champion that's worthy of greatness. I needed to become better than you. And now this is the missing piece. Our relationship is good now. I'm all in, Austin. Boom. That's amazing. Boom. Thank you so much, guys. The following match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing the lovely CJ and Magic Jake Dumas. The lovely assistant and Magic Jake. Perhaps they've had some more time to build some better chemistry to be back on the same page. Yeah, these two, since they got together, they absolutely have been opposite on opposite pages, yeah, it, yeah. opposite yeah. sides no, of the spectrum. Maybe opposite books, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see what it happens looks tonight, like, though. It looks like Magic, yes. Magic Jake has stepped back. He's just, they, well, they've had this communication a couple times. It's and, miscommunication. Well, this time it was intentional. <laughs> this yes, time, yes. Yeah. I think he's just tired of getting hit in the face with those... Uh, and I don't think boat. CJ just, she doesn't care. Uh, oh, they saw go. it coming this time. Was able to duck the feathers from his lovely And his assistant. opponent, already in the ring, this is the distraction, Eric Jackson. <laughs> Eric Jackson, I mean, this guy is double tough, and he has got guts standing up to bullies like Jax Dane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's saying a lot. Yeah, it is. Oh, don't light the cigarette. Magic Jake asking for a lighter. We're starting the match. The bell has rung. Uh, please don't, don't give him the lighter. Thank you. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Right off the bat. My God. Cruiser style drop kick. So what we're seeing is more strategy. Driving in the face of Eric Jackson into the turnbuckles. Ooh. Chest first into that top turnbuckle. Traps the arm into the... leg sweep. Yeah, beautiful. How do you like that? Magic oh. Jake starting this off at 100 miles an hour. So far, completely dominating. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lance him center of the ring. Covered by Magic Jake. Oh, just oh, caught him to the face. Not a card at the face. Hey, get out of the face. Eric it's Jackson. Often. Well, now, Magic Jake going back for the cigarette again. Asking CJ for the lighter. That's it. And CJ is completely oblivious to Magic Jake's I, wishes. But she looks great being oblivious. Yeah, she's totally, totally lovely. Oh, Eric Jackson! Eric Jackson has found a window of opportunity here. Send it Dumas into the corner. Goes for the monkey oh, flip. No. And he blocked Goes it. Yeah, Magic Jake. Magic Jake. Trying to block it, yes. Oh, sends oh. him flying. Base first goes Eric Jackson. You want to see a trick, huh? Set him up in the torture rack position. Abracadabra! Abracadabra were the words uttered yeah, by well, Magic Jake. It's Jakes. actually Abracadabra. Ah, uh, cadaver. And just like that, he disappeared. The winner of this match, Magic Jake Dumas! A big victory for Magic Jake, accompanied by his lovely assistant. Eric Jackson gave everything he could, but what's he doing? It oh, just wasn't. Not, oh, come on! It's over. Yet. It's over. What are you doing? Why? Ah. CJ, Wait. the card, please. CJ. Ah. 
Oh, oh, she's got a playing card. Oh, not this. Not the playing oh, card. No. Don't do it. Oh, come on. Now you see me. Oh, oh no. no. Across the eyes. Paper cut to the eye. Oh, the pain. Trying to blind Eric Jackson. What did he ever do to you? You're a monster. I, why would CJ want to align herself with I don't know. I have no idea. Ladies and gentlemen, the race to the chase continues in our main event. Mike Knox, Brian Myers, Tom Ladder, Nick, Nick Aldis, they're going at it. The, vin the winner becomes the number one contender for the World's Heavyweight Championship. That's in our main event. Experience the National Wrestling Alliance live. Join us for three action-packed days of NWA Power and NWA USA tapings, Monday, August 29th, Tuesday, August 30th, and Wednesday, August 31st, as the NWA returns to Skyway Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Scheduled to appear, NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch, Nick Aldis, NWA World Women's Champion Camille, NWA TV Champion Tyrus, Matt Cardona, Tom Latimer, and many more. Tickets on sale now at nwatix.com. That's nwatix.com. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. It's intense. It is intense. Is this right Jared on? Fritz. Oh, is he getting a weapon? He looks like he's getting a weapon. Oh, see that? Oh, God. Look at Jared oh, Fritz didn't see it. Oh, no. See what? He's Pull pulling, Pull he's pulling some object out of his trunks. What did you say? Used as a weapon, and here it is. The Sun Setter. The Sun Setter. Wait a minute. 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 The winner of this match, Kobe Carino. What did he pull anything out of his trunks? Kyle Davis here, and the news, everyone's talking about it. I'm excited about it. The race to the chase. William Patrick Corgan, the president of the National Wrestling Alliance. It was your brain that came up with this. And I have to ask you, what was the thought process behind this whole concept? The race to the chase. What, what's the thought? Well, when you're dealing with the tournament format, of course, everybody focuses on who the champion is, right? But the behind-the-scenes machinations on how you get to number one contenders who will face the champion, in this case, Trevor Murdoch, the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. I have to deal with the constant politicking behind the scenes. And you know who they are. I don't have to tell you. You don't have to read any dirt sheets. They are in this company. So in dealing with the machinations, I always go back to what I know. Prove it in the ring. So I had to deal with some extenuating circumstances, and I'll get to that in a second. What I like is two competitors in a ring and a referee in this case, the better man wins, tournament format, and a victor comes out, creating a number one contender. But let me say one thing, too. Uh, I reserve the right to dismiss any number one contendership at any time. Being the number one contender doesn't mean you can do whatever you want, say whatever you want, whenever you want. You must represent this company, in fact, to a greater extent than a champion. Let me express one other thing. When I was in the ring at Always Ready with the Cardona family, we had a champion that told me one day he was ready to compete. The next day he told me, and you saw what he said in the whole world, he was going to be there, but he didn't know what Billy was going to do. He went back and forth, and look, if that was me holding the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship, I'm reliving the emotion of the moment. Holding that championship, if you're Matt Cardona, it's not easy to hand that thing over. I had to assure the Cardona family that I had their back. Yes, I said it. I had to have the back of the Cardona family. I promised them things in that ring that I'm fine with, that are good for this company. Everybody in this company deserves to be in this company. They are top-line competitors. Asking them to prove it in the ring is fine by me. Yes, there are extenuating circumstances. Yes, it's not a perfect world. Thank you. I am not a perfect person. And as much as I love Kyle Davis, he is not a perfect announcer. We are doing our best to make the best NWA product that we can to regrow this company. And this company has more momentum than it has had in 30 freaking years. And there's a reason. And it doesn't have anything to do with me. It has to do with champions. It has to do with tournaments. It has to do with men and women competing at the highest level for the grandest and richest and most prestigious prizes in all of combat sports. All of combat sports. 
okay? So what I promised the Cardonas, I meant, I stand behind it, and I don't give a f what anybody thinks about it. Thank you. Thank you. Wrestling at the Chase is back August 27th and 28th as the NWA returns to the historic Chase Park Plaza Hotel in St. Louis, Missouri for NWA 74. Two nights of incredible action featuring title defenses from all the NWA champions. Plus, NWA wrestling legends will be in the Coruscant Ballroom for NWA's 74th anniversary extravaganza. Tickets are moving fast, so get yours now at nwatix.com. That's nwatix.com. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence, as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. Please welcome Odinson and Colby Carino. Odinson, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you think that you have any chances against the NWA World Television Champion? Any chances? Any chances? Yes. I think that I have more than one chance of beating the champion Tyrus. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Colby, what's your fixation with Kerry Morton? What's my fixation with Kerry Morton? You're asking some real dumb questions today, May. Why don't you ask Kerry Morton what his fixation is with Colby Carino? Why he's obsessed with me? He's got to send his old ass washed up dad out to try to hurt me. Try to put take money out of my family's mouth. Try to... Why don't you ask Kerry Morton why he's obsessed with Colby Carino? Because I'm asking him a different question. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. It's main event time here on NWA Power, and this match is so important. Fatal four-way, which will determine the number one contender for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship at NWA 74. I mean, I am chomping at the bit for this match. It doesn't get, it doesn't get any better than what we're about to see, talent-wise. Yeah. It, it is amazing. I'm I, mm, Let's I can't, get to I can't, it. I can't. Yes. Yes. Let's go. The following four-way match is one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first, representing the Cardona family, accompanied by VSK, this is Mike Knox. Mike Knox was the only man who did not have to compete in the race to the chase to get to this point. He got a bye. He is the freshest wrestler. I think he's also maybe the biggest one in this matchup, too. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt. This is a huge monster of a man. He's also yeah. a big baby, too. That With the whining and the crying, yeah. you believe me, believe me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the tables. Yeah. And their opponent, representing the Cardona family as well. He is the most professional wrestler. This is Brian Myers. Yeah, the deck, the, the, the deck is really stacked for, I'm sorry, Velvet, the Cardona family. They've got two members here. Two, me two members too many, Joe. I mean, they already have the alliance. Yeah. Why, the, why does that family keep growing? And I, growing I don't and understand that. Each week, it's like there's a new member of that family. We don't need any more. And the third competitor, hailing from Chesterfield, England, he is the Michael, king of all evil. This is Tom Latimer. Tom Latimer with an opportunity here. And to go back to what we were talking about before, I mean, if you think about what had to happen with the former world's champion having to relinquish that title, saying that he would take care of Matt Cardona, perhaps that has some sort of implications as to why we're seeing this and why Mike Knox might have gotten that by. 
I, I, I don't quite understand that. And the fourth and final competitor from Kingsland, England, he is the national treasure, Nick Aldis. Tim, you were saying before. No, I, I, I never quite understood the buy, but I. But look around in the ring right now, and and we know the background between Nick Aldis and Tom Latimer, and we know. We know, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the C word. We know the it's Cardona. Okay, that. We know okay. the Cardonas. We know their background. And you know what? If you really think about it, the relationship that Nick Aldis has had over the years with Tom Latimer, obviously, I mean, things were really bitter between oh, them God, yeah. a year ago at NWA 73. Yeah. But if they could bury the hatchet for this matchup, it would actually kind of even the odds in favor of them. But here we go. Fatal four way, one ball to a finish. And I think when you get in these situations, there there comes a point when you you almost have to form alliances that you may or may not want to. And Aldis this, already dumped to the outside. Tom Latimer going alone against Ryan Myers and Knox. And just and overwhelmed Knox. Oh, by wow. the numbers. Just just overwhelmed by the numbers. And going back to what we were talking about before, I mean, when when Billy Corgan gets asked about this, I mean, he's talking. He's always doing what's best for business, what's best for this company, Absolutely. and what's best for the sport, what's best for the world championship as right. well. Yeah, and I've, I've, I would never question that at all. Uh, I just didn't say I questioned it, I just didn't understand it. So it's okay, we're here. Now let's see who's going to earn that shot. Who will face Trevor Murdoch in his hometown Can you imagine, in the chase? Though, if, if Billy didn't get Matt Cardona to relinquish the title, what kind of position we'd be in right now? I, you know, one can only speculate. I mean, there's it, the questions are really raised here, but at this moment, Trevor Murdoch is just getting pummeled by the Cardona family. Brian Tom, Myers. Tom Lander, yes. <laughs> and now Tom, all tied up. Yes! Brian Myers, oh, hooked on the brakes. Well, Almost I, screwed up right there. Here comes, and here comes Aldis. Oh. I think the biggest issue for Billy uh, is showing up in, when, when Matt Cardona shows up in Knoxville with that title. We actually saw that take place, and there's that teamwork we talked about. We saw that negotiation take place in the ring between Billy Corgan and Matt Cardona and Look, with the Cardona family in there. I mean, that was a... Wait a minute. I mean, it, it, beautiful on, chemistry. It was almost those, as though Strictly <laughs> Business was back together. They're about to be back together right now. Oh, here we go. The train blows in the middle of the ring. All this with the open hand slaps on Tom Latimer. Former, former best friends that turned into bitter rivals after Tom Latimer sent Nick Aldis to the hospital. Yes. But now Latimer with an opportunity. He wants to do what he has not been able to do, what he's always had to watch Nick Aldis do, and that's be the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. But he has to win this match and go on to 74. But Brian Myers running interference. Oh, now we're out on the outside here. And he's in a bad spot. Oh, no, 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 into the steel post! Into the steel post! Nick Aldis may be knocked out. Yeah. The dealer may be neutralized in this matchup. It's Brian Myers, oh, he's getting picked up by his hair. But here comes Mike Knox, oh, smothering Tom Latimer. Oh, big headbutt with that massive cabeza of Mike Knox. If Nick Aldis is out, I, Tom Latimer may get picked apart at this point. I, it's, it's, I mean, they're, they're one, one, of, one of his best bets was to have some type of, of alliance with his friend, former friend, whatever the case may be right now. Right. Scoop and a slam, and now I mean, this is a methodical beatdown after sent, ever since they isolated Tom Latimer. Oh, two on one right now. Yeah, Latimer is suffering so much pain and damage at the hands of Brian Myers and Mike Knox. I mean, Latimer. They're just taking turns. Oh, you could hear that across the arena. The knee real right into the throat. Choking him over oh, that man. over that middle rope. Vladimir really needs Nick Aldis to get back into this matchup somehow. Mike Knox, oh! oh man. All of that weight pushing the throat into the middle rope. And, and Tom Latimer just collapsed in the, the corner. 
Yeah, he's fading fast. There's been a lot of pain, a lot of damage been in, that's been inflicted on Latimer. And it just keeps going and going. How much yeah. more can he take? Well, at he the end can't of the, defend himself right now. At the end of the day, someone's got to try to go for a pin or a submission to try to win this match. Sending Latimer to the outside now. And now it's just Brian Myers and Mike Knox are the looks only like two. Aldis got to his oh, feet. Aldis has recovered after going face first into the steel post. But, oh, no, but how no, much? No. Yeah, how Someone much? Inside the ring. How much damage was? Oh there? my gosh. gosh! Oh, that hurts. Ooh, Aldis writhing in pain right now. The amount of pain that, that takes a toll on your body, like. Oh. And now, continuing the beatdown, but this time on the National Treasure. All this, yes. When you frame it like that, it, the, the Cardona family has dominated this match then. I mean, there's been flurries from yeah. Tom Latimer and Nick Aldis, but the Cardona family oh. are just taking turns on who they're beating They've up. They've done a great job isolating, just, just attacking one opponent at a time and completely wearing them down. Nick Aldis getting some separation here. Trying desperately to just fight back in any capacity he can. But talk about an uphill battle when you're going up against guys like Mike Knox and Brian Myers. It's, it's oh, like... Uh, Tom Latimer trying to get back in this match. Brian Myers not having it. It's like a pack of wolves cir cir you know, circling an animal. It's, it's, they're going to pick apart. They're going to pull it a hill. They're going to they're gonna try to do something to bring you down a little bit, damage, the, damage you somehow. And eventually, if they wear you down enough, you're beat. Oh, looking for Let's something big it. here. Look at it. Completely take out Nick Aldis. Ryan Myers going up top. Oh, Aldis up on the shoulders, but oh, he pushed Mike Knox. Mike Knox directly into Brian and Myers. This is the opening Aldis needed to turn this match around in his favor. Olympic slam from Nick Aldis goes right after Brian Myers. Brian Myers coming down real hard on that top turnbuckle. Looking for something big, but Mike Knox is right there to cut him off. Oh, uh -oh. no. Well, wait no. a minute. Tower wait a minute. of doom. Tower of doom. Oh. All three men down wow. on that. Everybody felt the impact. Uh, OK. And, and honestly, that, that's actually the first bit of offense we've seen Mike Knox sort of uh, deliver to Brian right, Meyer. And right. at this point, even Latimer, even though he's on the outside, he's the freshest man in this match. Yeah, if he's he got to get back in this in. ring. He's got to get back in this ring. You say here it. Comes, you say it. Comes. He's struggling, though. Yeah, he is. It's been a brutal beatdown, but Taking seen, it to Knox. We've seen how tough Tom can be. It is it is tough to take Mike Knox off his feet. His composure. You're right, Tim. It is hard to take Mike Knox off. And he's Knox. trying. He is. Trying Mike to Knox shoot him off. putting on the brakes, holding Again. on to the top rope. Oh! oh. Big heavy. right hand. Yeah. There it is. Can he get the cover? Can he get the victory here? So close. Oh, my gosh. One has to think if Brian Myers didn't break up that pin, if he would have got, if Vladimir would have won the match. Yeah, that match, that match could have been over right there. And then not only does Myers break it, he immediately starts pummeling again. Mike Knox oh, just completely flattens Latimer. Oh, but here comes Nick Aldis. Yes. Oh, he's had some time to recover, but Brian Myers staying right on top of him. Myers into the corner. Aldis eats the back elbow. Myers up to the middle rope. He caught, caught him. Gets caught. Looking for the Kingsland. The Kingsland's Turns literally. Around. Will he tap? Will he He's tap? Got him. He's got him. He's got him. Mike Knox oh. is there. Mike Knox is there to break everything up. If Nick Aldis just had a few more seconds, yeah, he, he could have won the match right there. Definitely. I've been in that. It is incredibly painful, and it just sucks the life out of you. Saying all they need is one more big move. Nick Gallus, oh! 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 The crossbody on the Myers! Whoopsie! Mox, he couldn't stop his own momentum. Oh, and these two just colliding in the red ring. Well, he's gonna get it. Oh, Nick Gallus got it! He got the win this match! Nick Aldis! The match was that not in favor of Aldis and Latimer in the beginning, Absolutely but why right. did they not turn that around? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your match for NWA 74. It is a rematch from NWA 73.
Nick Aldis is your number one contender for the World's Heavyweight Championship. A championship that he held for more than 1,300 days. Number Can one. he win it at the chase? We 